right, so we got Justin playing Horang and Chun Li, Team S tier. Yes. So versus Corns, Seth, LOL, LOL. No, no, he beat Justin at the 25th anniversary. Ooh, now do you so think that Justin is putting a little? It was funny because I lost to Corn Seth at the. I lost to him in winners in LA, and losers right? at the LA qualifiers, right? I just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. And I was like, if I can't figure it out after like seven or eight games that I had, then maybe there's something going on here that's old, <laughs> you know? And Ricky and Justin were like, Peter, you know, you just weren't playing it right. We got that, you know? Like, if we ever fought him, we'd serve him. And I was like, that's, that's amazing that you don't have any faith in your boy. Like, you know, like, that I'm not good at this game, but it's okay. I understand. And then he went through Ricky and Justin at the 25th anniversary tournament. And so what did you tell him? I didn't, I didn't have to say anything. The result, <laughs> you just the looked at him. proved itself, you know, because I was like, this is hard to fight. Like, what he's, his approach to the game is a little different. And do you see what he's doing there? He went into uh, Justin right there, expecting the uppercut, and he used the flip kick's air invincibility to beat the uppercut. But he didn't actually do uppercut. Justin did actually It's because do Justin didn't do the uppercut that it didn't get hit. But do you see he used the backflip, too, to make it hard to punish. Right, yeah. Backflip yeah. is definitely hard to punish. Close. So when you say that his approach to the game is different, what is huh? When you say that uh, Seth LOL's approach to the game is different, what does it, that it's mean? The, I mean it's different in that he's super aggressive. Like the like the the thought process is just like offense all day, you know, like and and the reads. It's like this guy who's always reading you, but from the offensive side, like infiltration is anticipating you, and he's off on the side, right? And he's annoying you, right? The way that Seth is, is that he knows your options on your wake up. Look at that, like he just knows what you ideally would do and he's just there and it's just... Wow, yeah, and this, the crowd is yeah. definitely on his side. <laughs> oh, and I guess at 25th he also beat Mamochi. That's serious business. Oh, wow. So, you know, Korn Seth is, is not a slouch in this game. Like, I, personally, I can't beat the guy. Like, it's his, I think that his style just counters mine, you know? Like, or his, not not his style, but his, his reading process, like, or his character, something. It just stops me from killing him. <laughs> so, I mean, I got immense respect. Look at this. It's just so much damn. Ooh, he missed it. He missed it right there. And look at the bear. The bear is just so menacing, and it's so hard to fight. The bear got better okay. in this game. Honey stance? Okay. Honey stance? Look at what that. What is the stance? What, what is that, Peter? <laughs> Honey stance? Yeah. Yeah, it's like when he goes into like the off fours, he has a, a new set of attacks, a new set of normals, but it's just like a bear, you know? Looking for that honey. Yeah, and his hitbox is also in the body, it's not the head. So you have to target the body to hit him when he does that. Which means you have to be a little bit closer. Yeah. Like, he, you have to hit where the bandana is around his neck. Look at that, he has like longer throw range, longer movement. That move breaking right there is invincible. It, it has an invulnerability and this is game. Now, I remember him using the bear, but he, was he using law? Huh? Was, it, was he using law in the 25th anniversary tournament? Yeah, okay. that's the thing, like, you couldn't, in, in the 25th anniversary, I mean, sorry, in the other version, you could jump in on law. Right, but now. So that was the weakness, the, but now you cannot jump in on law, so it takes flip -kick away. It has that anti air invincibility. It takes away all the weaknesses of law, like, and see, I think I think Justin is kind of like, what Justin's do I do now? Maybe board. he's gonna go to Rufus? Oh, is he gonna go to Elena Alisa? Might as well, you might as well, Justin, you know? You think that Justin is counting on the fact that maybe uh, Seth LOLOL is not as familiar with Elena and uh, Elisa? Well, I mean, Seth plays online a lot. Uh -huh. But I think that <coughs> more so than that, the range that Elena has and the block stun that Elisa puts you in mm. will allow him to actually generate some kind of offense because he could not generate anything. And it's, it's Seth is always ready to counter uppercut stuff. Look at that, that range. And and her roundhouse goes over lows, by the way. So, you know, Justin is just like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep sitting there mashing low forward, because that's all Law can do. Right. He can only do Law, he can only do the down forward kick or the junkyard combo to get in, you know? Right. Oh, but see, that's Take the thing. Though. That's, the, that's the thing. If you play footsies with Seth, they just wait.
Wow. Oh. And look at that. He's definitely just waiting. Ooh. Oh, wow. Made something to do the alpha counter. Couldn't really punish, though, but it didn't really matter. This is such a... Oh, my God. What a situation to be in. <laughs> I, are we gonna see a influx of Kuma players after this? Are people oh. gonna realize? And see, and like that's the problem. Like I, I was telling everyone that I think Seth was my, my Seth was my pick to win, and also I think he's also like the best player at this game. And it's just Do you think he can beat the world champion? Oh Ooh. my gosh! He got it. That was so. That was so bad. Oh man! Is Justin gonna get his Elisa? In? Oh, standing strong anti air. Wow, okay. Just to finally mount some offense. Then Elisa giving that meter, getting those hits in. And right now, you see. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> I don't know why Justin did. Oh, okay, yeah, Justin getting the knockdown. Now he can get more chip in. What? How'd you get hit by that? Ooh, and the alpha counter getting both. Now Justin has a chance because Alisa. Oh, wow! What? He the, just threw him out of that. Twenty five percent. No, he did the command grab. Oh, okay. So he command grabbed the he command grabbed the whiff. Uh, Shinsa. Ooh, you can't whiff that against the bear jumping cross. Ooh, Justin getting out of there. He's like, yo, I need I, <laughs> leave me alone. Ooh, and look at the bear. He's oh just on God. the ground. If, ooh, that's like infantry. <laughs> 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 if you guys could hear, you guys could hear the crowd. <laughs> oh my God! Making Justin whip the uppercut like that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It doesn't and, even and matter at this point. Wow! And corn goes crazy. Oh my God! You guys, you guys can't even see. The bear dances over here. Yeah, are they showing the crowd? No, oh they are my. showing the crowd. Okay, all right. <laughs> bear dances everywhere. When, uh, yeah, next. Spooky on the mic. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we have Losers Finals of oh Infiltration versus God. Justin.